Hello students, in this video I am going to cover current affairs on environment from January 2023 to March 2023. The first topic is ozone hole recovery. So UN bagged ozone recovery assessment report 2022. So it stated that ozone layer is on track to recover within decades as harmful chemicals are phased out. The next topic is cloud forest assets so the cloud forests are the mountain tropical forests generally found at the river head streams and mostly covered with the clouds so recently the cloud forest assets financing a valuable nature based solution report was released by the earth security so 90 percent of the cloud forests are found in 25 developing countries so these forests serve as the storage of clean water for communities industries and hydropower plants the next topic is the wildlife protection amendment act 2022 so this act is an amendment of the wildlife protection act of 1972 so this new act conserves and protect wildlife through better management of protected areas and by implementing sites efficiently so under this act chief wildlife warden will manage and protect sanctuaries in accordance with the management plans Penalties for violations has increased and transfer and or transport of live elephants are allowed for the religious or any other purpose. And the captive animals have to be surrendered to the chief wildlife warden. And grazing or movement of livestock, use of drinking water and household water by the local communities are allowed without any permit in the sanctuary and the central government has made regulations to prohibit the import trade possession or proliferation of invasive alien species so armed license is not to be renewed for the pers people who are residing within 10 kilometers of sanctuary except with the prior consent of the wildlife warden so new schedules are also introduced under this act they are the schedule one the schedule one highlights uh, the highest level of protection is given to these species under the schedule one under schedule two lesser level of protection is given under schedule three plant species are protected under schedule four specimens listed in appendices under sites are given so another important concept is sites so the convention on international trade in endangered species of wild fauna and flora so its main objective is to ensure is to ensure that the international trade of wildlife species does not threaten the species so and other important concept is elephants so asian elephants are in the iucn endangered list Project Elephant is launched in 1991 to 92 and Karnataka has the highest number of elephants followed by Assam and Kerala. The next topic is Forest Conservation Rules 2022. So National Commission for Scheduled Tribes has introduced new forest rules and, and under this act advisory committees and regional empowered committees are established to advise union and state governments in matters involving the use of the forest land for non-forest purposes. So this act encourages people to raise vegetation and make comp compensatory afforestation. The next topic is human wildlife conflict so as per the cag report the comptroller and auditor general report around 6.5 lakh animals were dead in train accidents in the last four years and the report also stated that the scheduled one species like tiger wolf elephant black bucks and uh, gangetic dolphins are found outside the protected areas so the protected areas are not recognized properly by the government so because of this uh, so many protected species under schedule one are under threat the next topic is fly ash utilization so fly ash is a particulate matter 
um, that is produced by burning coal in the thermal power plants so it is composed of silica aluminium iron calcium oxygen lead and arsenic so generally in indian coal the ash content is more than other countries and the fly ash can cause land pollution air and water pollution so for the proper utilization of fly ash union ministry of environment and climate change has released notification on fly ash utilization so it can be utilized for the road construction for making bricks in the uh, bricks for construction of houses for making portland cement and it is also effectively used for removing mercury the next topic is samudrayan mission so the main aim of this mission is to develop a self propelled manned submarine a uh, sub submersible submarine called the matsya 6000 so it is launched under the ministry of earth sciences so under this initiative three human beings are sent deep down below uh, at the water depth of 6000 meters okay so other initiatives um, of india for blue economy are draft national policy for india's blue economy o smart scheme that is ocean services modeling application resource and technology scheme pm matsya sampada yojana uh, and the important resources like polymetallic nodules which have metals like copper nickel cobalt and manganese are found in the indian ocean so this these poly metallic nodules help in the electronic devices smartphones batteries and solar panels the next topic is joshimath land subsidence subsidence so joshimath is the important place in uttarakhand it acts like a gateway to famous pilgrimage sites like badrinath hemkund sahib and has four important mats and is strategically important place for indian armed forces so recently this joshimath region has declared as a lands landslide and subsidence zone so here subsidence means gradual sinking of ground surface the next topic is large dams in india so as per the new study of the united nation around 3700 dams in india will lose 26% of that of their storage due to the accumulation of sediments sediments are nothing but the small particles like silt rocks and sand which come and uh, stay uh, at the ground surface of the dams so the next topic is international container trans trans shipment port so it is a development plan for the great nicobar island so under this public private partnership um, the great nicobar island will be developed with international airport international container trans shipment terminal township and area development and a power plant the next topic is urban forestry and urban greening in dryland's report so as per this report 35% of the world's largest cities are built in the world's dryland and are facing high risk of social environmental and economic crisis and scarce rainfall and water sup uh, supplies are leading to over exploitation of limited resources The next topic is sustainable agriculture in mangrove ecosystem initiative. So the main aim of this initiative is to restore the mangroves in the Sundarbans by planting mangrove trees around the shrimp ponds and to prevent erosion and observe storm surge and other extreme weather events. So mangroves has the capacity capacity to withstand the strong uh, the extreme weather events. like storm cyclones etc the next topic is first all india annual states ministers conference so it is held in bhopal and under this conference initiative are uh, some initiatives are introduced they are national framework on reuse of treated wastewater national framework for sedimentation management jal shakti abhiyan the uh, catch the rain initiative and jal itihas portal that showcases water heritage structures for more than 100 years old 
and water vision park is proposed to establish the idea of afforestation to achieve water conservation the next topic is nature risk profile so nature risk profile aims at providing financial assistance to address and identify the nature related risk so it is launched under the U united nation environment program and uh, snp global the next topic is wildlife conservation bond so it is also known as the rhino bond it is a sustainable development bond of 15 million 150 million dollars to protect and to protect increase the black rhino population in two protected areas in south africa the next topic is asian water bird census awc so it is a global international water bird census coordinated by the wetland international in india asian water bird census is jointly coordinated by the bombay natural history society and the wetland international and one important concept to remember here is about the bombay um, bombay national history society so natural history society so this one bnhs is formed in 1883 and is a non-governmental organization and is engaged in the conservation of biodiversity research and other important concept here is bond convention or convention on migratory birds this provides global platform for the conservation of migratory animals and their habitats the next topic is species in use so white tuffled royal butterfly is a rare butterfly species found in kerala and uh, agasya kudam and shendurni wildlife sanctuaries so it is protected under schedule 2 of the wildlife protection act of 1972 and the next important species is greater scout so it is a rare duck recently found in Loktak Lake in Manipur. So it is migratory bird found across Arctic and subarctic regions. So one important point here is Loktak Lake is a famous for Kerbal Lamjau National Park and Sangai Dancing Beer. The next topic is Neela Kurinji. So it is uh, it is under the Schedule 3 of Wildlife Act 1972. It is found in Shola Forest of Western Ghats and blooms every 12 years. The plant is named after the famous uh, Kunti River which flows through the Kerala Silent Valley National Park. So the blue color of Kurinji has given to the Nilgiri Hills its name. So the next one is Ram Setu. So it is also known as Adams Bridge. So it is a chain of limestone shoals connecting Tamban Island or Rameshwaram Island, southeast coast of Tamil Nadu, Mannar of Mannar Island and northwest coast of Sri Lanka. The next topic is Munro Turutu Island. So it is an island between Ashtamudi Lake and Kallada River in Kerala. A study uh, by National Center of Earth Sciences has revealed that 39% of its land is lost in the past two decades and it is because of the construction of Tenmada Dam, Tenmala Dam under Kallada Irrigation Project. The next topic is Dark Sky Reserve. So Dark Sky Reserve is this uh, area which is away from the artificial light pollution and uh, sky is clearly seen without any artificial light interference in this area so the first dark sky reserve is in hanley in ladakh and the second dark sky reserve is in talakaveri in kodagu district of karnataka so it is also called as south india's hanley and one other important concept here is botle scale botle scales measures the night brightness the next topic is uranium contamination in groundwater. So as per the report given by the Central Groundwater Board, 12 states have uranium levels beyond the permissible limits in their groundwater. So Punjab is the worst affected followed by Haryana. So uranium contamination causes renal dysfunction, kidney disease, bone toxic, uh, toxicity, etc. 
Next is lakes in use. So Lake Victoria is the largest lake in Africa and it is shared by three countries, Tanzania, Uganda and Kenya. It is one of the freshwater lakes in the world. Next lake is Lake Chad. So it is a freshwater lake in the Sahelian zone of West Central Africa at conjunction of Chad, Cameroon, Nigeria and Niger. Next topic is Hawaii's Kilauea Volcano. So it is the active shield volcano located in Hawaiian islands. The next topic is Standards and Labeling Program of Bureau of Energy Efficiency. So star rating is given to the appliances. So the lowest energy consumption appliances having uh, will have the highest star rating according to this uh, uh, as uh, according to the standards. The next topic is virtual power plants. So this virtual power plants use advanced software to react to the electric shortages with techniques like switching households batteries from charge to discharge mode etc. So it is a decentralized power generating unit especially for the electric vehicles or electric heaters. The next topic is disaster management plan for power sector. So it is released by the Central Electricity Authority to strengthen disaster mitigation, preparedness, emergency response and recovery efforts in the power sector. The next topic is global overturning circulation, GOC. So GOC means the equator ward transportation of deep cold deep waters and the poleward transformation of warm near surface waters so this transformation is called global overturning circulation the next topic is new plateau type discovered from maharashtra so a low latitude basalt plateau is discovered in the thane region of western guards so it is a fourth type of plateau identified in this region. So this region is, al uh, is also a global biodiversity hotspot and UNESCO World Heritage Site in India. Next topic is e-waste management amendment rules 2023. So as per the global e-waste monitor report 2020, India is the world's third largest e-waste e generator after China and US and only 22% of 22.7% of total e-waste generated in 2019-20 to 20 was collected and recycled in India. So e-waste means used or expired electrical and electronic equipments like solar photovoltaic modules or panels or cells is, dis, uh, is uh, launched is called the is called as the e-waste so e-waste has toxic substances like lead cadmium mercury beryllium hexavalent chromium which causes harmful effects on the human health which when mixed with the soil water or air so to protect the environment proper management of e-waste is needed so ministry of environment forest and climate change has notified e-waste management rules 2023 so as per this rules a new extended producer responsibility epr regime for e-waste recycling is introduced so epr certificates will be given for the companies which recycle their waste products and compulsory epr registration is required so every producer have to provide detailed information about their product and to reduce the use of hazardous substances like lead and mercury and cadmium epr is introduced and uh, environmental compensation is to be provided by the companies that don't meet their targets as per this e-waste amendment rules and central pollution board uh, control board shall monitor and verify the compliance of reduction of hazardous substances next topic is ethanol blending so ethanol is a biofuel that is obtained from the organic sources like sugarcane maize wheat etc so to reduce the carbon emission 10 percent of ethanol was added in petrol in 2022 india achieved average blending rate of 10 percent in petrol and now national policy on biofuels notified to make 20 percent of ethanol blended in 
petrol by 2030 so department of food and public distribution is the model uh, nodal department for promotion of fuel grade ethanol producing distilleries in the country the next topic is mangrove ecosystem so mangroves are the type of littoral plants found in the tropical and subtropical regions near the coastal areas so they are also called as coastal woodlands so tidal forest and mangrove forest uh, are present in this mango mangrove ecosystem so due to the climate change natural calamities deforestation reduction of fresh water and tidal water there uh, less tidal water flow there are they all these mangrove ecosystems are under threat so to increase the mangrove plantations along the coastline and on salt lines mishti scheme or mangrove initiative for shoreline habitat and tangible income scheme was introduced so in west bengal largest mangrove cover is present in 42.45% followed by gujarat with 23.66% Andaman and Nicobar Islands with twelve point three nine percent, Andhra Pradesh with eight point one two percent, Maharashtra with six point four four percent, Odisha with five point zero four percent, Tamil Nadu with zero point nine zero percent, Goa with zero point five two percent, Karnataka with zero point two zero percent, and Dadra and Nagar Haveli with zero point zero six percent as per the Forest Survey of India. So the highest mangroves are present in the West Bengal. followed by uh, gujarat andaman and nicobar islands andhra pradesh maharashtra odisha tamil nadu goa karnataka dadra and nagar haveli as per the forest survey report 2021 the next topic is aquaculture so aquaculture is a process of rearing breeding harvesting of aquatic species in the controlled environments like oceans lakes ponds and streams so india is the second largest aquaculture nation and india exports 70% of seafood Uh, and it is the third largest fish fish producer and fourth largest fish exporting country so one of the uh, due to lack of quality inputs like seeds feed etc used in aquaculture and limited fish species disease promoting conditions invasive species aquatic pollution climate change there is a large reduction in the quality and quantity of the seafood exports so to promote the aquaculture union ministry of fisheries animal husbandry and dairying have inaugurated three national programs for the aquaculture sector so they are genetic improvement program of indian white shrimp so that to encourage the indigenous species financial support is also promoted under the pradhan mantri matsya sampada yojana and the next is phase 2 national surveillance program on aquatic animal diseases is launched to strengthen diseases resistance system and increase exports the next topic uh, the next one is launch of shrimp crop insurance product developed by icar ciba so here this uh, is launched to establish farmers access to insurance and double farmers income so there are three programs for the aquaculture sector released by the union ministry of fisheries animal husbandry and dairying so some other initiatives taken for aquaculture development are creation of independent ministry uh, conductive fdi policy policies fisheries and aquaculture infrastructure development fund pradhan mantri matsya sampada yojana e santa portal so e santa portal here is a e-commerce platform launched for the direct trade between small and marginal aqua farmers and exporters next topic is water sensitive cities so water sensitive cities are those cities that aim to achieve effective and efficient water conservation and water management so recently a research paper has highlighted the importance of water sensitive urban design and planning for cities in the global south so some initiatives taken by india for water sensitive cities are 
National Mission for Clean Ganga, um, Jal Shakti Ministries Catch the Rain Initiative, River Cities Alliance, various national flagship urban missions like Amrut, Smart Cities, Swachh Bharat Mission, Fridai, N Nalam, and traditional water conservation systems like Alhar Pyre System of Bihar, Cascade Tanks of South India, etc. The next topic is sea level rise. So, World Meteorological Organization has released a report titled Global Sea Level Rise and Implications Facts and Figures as per the uh, Facts and Figures report. Okay, so according to this report, sea level has rise to the highest level between 2013 and 2022 of 4.5 millimeters and sea level rise is not globally uniform and it varies regionally and the countries like India, Bangladesh, China, Netherlands face the highest threat due to the sea level rise globally and the big cities like Shanghai, Dhaka, Mumbai, etc. face the highest threat if the sea level rises. The next topic is glacial lake outburst floods. So recent study conducted by the scientists at Newcastle University in UK revealed that about 3 million Indians reside in the regions that are in threat to global lake floods. So global lake outburst floods is a sudden release of the significant amount of water retained in the glacial lake. So few important points to remember over here are the Karakoram anomaly. So it is the stability or anomalous growth of glaciers in the central Karakoram region. Next is other important point is um, third pole. So third pole has areas of Tibetan Plateau, Himalayas, Hindu Kush mountains, uh, Pamir and Tian Shan mountains. So the melted water from third pole fills many of the Asia's large lakes and rivers including Indus, Brahmaputra, Ganges, Yellow and Yangtze river. The next topic is First Synchronized Vulture Survey So Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka has begun the first synchronized vulture survey in select regions of Western Ghats. So in India, 9 species of vultures are recorded and out of this 4 species are found in India, uh, southern India. So they are long-billed vulture, red-headed vulture, Egyptian vulture and white-rumped vulture. So these are the these are concentrated in the Nilgiri Biosphere region. So some important places are some important places to remember are the Madhumalai Tiger Reserve. It is located in Tamil Nadu. Vayanad Wildlife Sanctuary is located in Kerala. And Nagar Hole and Bandipur Tiger Reserves are located in Karnataka. Bir Shikagar Wildlife Sanctuary is located in Haryana. And this Bir Shikagar Wildlife Sanctuary has the Vulture Conservation and Breeding Center called Jata Jatayu. So the four drugs, namely the Diclofenac, Aciclofenac, Nimosulide and Ketoprofen, these four drugs are uh, uh, are the drugs that lead to the drastic decrease in the vulture population the next topic is global assessment of soil carbon in grasslands so soil carbons in grassland report is released by the food and agriculture organization the next topic is organic farming certification so to check field level irregularities in organic farming ministry of commerce and industry has began adopting required measures so india stands first in the number of organic farmers and it ranks nine in terms of area under the organic farming the next topic is draft geo heritage sites and geo relics preservation and maintenance bill so this one uh, geo heritage sites are those sites which are rare and unique which have rare and unique geological and geomorphological significance so geological survey of india has declared 32 ge geo heritage sites 
including fossil parks like Shivalik Fossil Park in Himachal Pradesh, geological marvels like Lonar Lake in Mah- uh, Maharashtra, and rock mountains like Peninsula Gnesis in Karnataka. So, to preserve, protect, and maintain geo heritage sites and geo relics of national importance, Ministry of Mines has published a draft bill. So, as per the draft bill, geo heritage sites is declared as the national importance and area under each geo heritage site is declared as prohibited area and is regulated and a regulated area. The next topic is 5th International Marine Protected Areas Congress. So, it is a global forum that brings together ocean conservation professionals and high-level officials to inform, inspire and act on the marine protected areas. So, it aims to protect 30% of the global ocean by 2030 and impact 5 that is the 5th International Marine Protected Areas Congress 5. So, recently concluded, conducted in Canada. The next topic is Marine Spatial Planning Framework, MSP Framework. So, it is a part of Indo-Norway Integrated Ocean Initiative to balance sustainable management of ocean resources and coastal environment preservation. So, Marine Spatial Planning is a process of allocation of some areas for the human activities in the marine marine uh, areas to achieve ecological, economy, uh, ecological economic and social objectives so india is the first uh, marine spatial planning framework launched in puducherry the next topic is river sites alliance so rca so it is a platform for river uh, cities to discuss and exchange information for sustainable ban- management of urban rivers. So, Dara 2023, that is Driving Holistic Action for Urban Rivers annual meeting of RCA members was held recently. So, it is a platform to co-learn and discuss solutions for managing local water resources. So, <clears throat> it focuses on networking, capacity building and technical support. The next topic is red sanders. So, traffic. Traffic is a monitoring network to undertake data collection recommendations on wildlife trade. So, it was established in 1976 by World Wildlife Fund and International Union for Conservation. So, this traffic was uh, has highlighted that red sanders is India's most exploit, ex- exploited tree species. The next topic is cheetah translocation. So, Memorandum of Understanding was signed on the reintroduction of the cheetahs to India with the aim to expand the cheetahs population in India. So, National Tiger Conservation Authority is the nodal agency for the project. So, Asian cheetahs are protected under the appendix 1 of the site and critically endangered in IUCN status. Next topic is pangolin. So, pangolins are the only mammals uh, which are wholly covered by the scales. So, they are the ecosystem in engineers that help the soil circulation. So, out of 8 species of pangolin, 2 species are found in India. They are the Indian pan, pan, pangolic, pangolin and the Chinese pangolin. So, as per the study between 2018 to 2022, over thousand pangolins are poached and trafficked the next topic is ladakh's first biodiversity heritage site so yaya so is the ladakh's first biodiversity heritage site it is the highest breeding sites of the black bug, black necked crane in india so also the wildlife species like bar headed goose black necked crane and uh, brahmini duck are found here. So, in 2022, Mahendragiri Hills of Odisha is added in the Biosphere Heritage sites also. So, it was the last added one till date. The next topic is Shinkula Tunnel or Shinkula Pass. So, this pass connects Himachal Pradesh, Lahaul Valley and the Ladakh's Zanskar Valley. Next topic is Dickinsonia. 
so dickinsonia is the is considered to be the earth's oldest animal next is pmn or polymetallic nodules exploration so pmn are the small potato like rounded material composed of minerals such as manganese nickel cobalt copper and iron hydroxide so these are found in the deep sea so india has been assigned an area of about 75000 square kilometers in central indian ocean basin for the pmn exploration the next topic is pfa or the forever chemicals so new study has found that found alarming levels of toxic forever chemicals in norwegian uh, arctic ice which affect which may affect the wildlife so these forever chemicals in norway norway antarctic region may affect the wildlife the next topic is bisphenol a bpa chemical so it is the chemical primarily used in the production of polycarbonate plastics so recently study has highlighted that due to the presence of the bisphenol a in urban drains the breeding of mosquitoes has accelerated the next topic is sustainable development goal sdg aggregate uh, uh, agri food accelerator program okay so this program was launched by fao and seed partnership to help agri food system startups to develop their businesses the next topic is climate smart varieties of wheat so indian agricultural research institute scientists have developed three climate smart varieties of wheat that is hd csw18 hd 3410 hd 3385 so these three are the varieties of climate smart wheat the next topic is earth's in, inner core so scientists from australia national university has discovered a new layer at earth's inner core so it is the crystallized structure within the innermost region and is solid due to the high pressure within the earth so far we have five layers of earth structure so first one is crust it is a topmost and outermost layer with 1% of earth volume and mantle is a solid layer of earth with 84% of earth's volume outer core is a liquid portion of core composed of 80% of iron nickel and other lighter elements and inner core is a solid portion composed of iron and nickel with the presence of heavy heavy metals like gold platinum palladium silver and tungsten so fifth layer is the newly discovered innermost core the next topic is heat dome so hot air trapped within the atmosphere that cannot go outside the atmosphere due to the greenhouse gases and get trapped within the particular area leading to the heat waves in that region so it is a high pressure circulation in atmosphere which acts like a heat dome or cap the next topic is mammatus clouds so mammatus clouds are some of the most unusual and distinctive clouds formation within the series of bulges or pouches emerging from the base of the cloud next topic is biodiversity of area beyond national jurisdiction treaty united nations high seas treaty so the main aim of this treaty is to protect at least 30% of the world's land and ocean by 2030 The next topic is UN 2023 Water Conference. So UN 2023 Water Conference is the most important one. It is its main aim is to promote comprehensive understanding of importance of water, sanitation, hygiene and to facilitate effective management of water. And the five themes of the UN 2023 Water Conference are water for health water for sustainable development water for climate resilience and environment water action decade water for cooperation the next topic is ar6 synthesis report climate change 2023 so synthesis report for six assessment 
cycle that is AR6 was released by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change that is IPCC. So as per the report, the global surface temperature reached 1.1 degree Celsius about 1850 to 1900 in 2011-20 to 20. and uh, agricultural and ecological droughts has increased and heavy rainfall is also observed in some places and there are gaps between the global ambitions and some of declared national ambitions the next topic is climate justice so climate justice is the justice that links development and human rights to achieve human centered approach to address the climate change and the initiatives taken by india to address the climate change are for effect efforts of efforts for mini, mitigation national action plan on climate change national adaptation fund on climate change was introduced for renewable energy international solar alliance national hydrogen mission one sun one world one grid mission is introduced for reducing emissions national clean air program faster development faster adoption and manufacturing of hybrid and electric vehicles was introduced for the commitment of climate actions goal of net zero by 2070 and life initiative that is lifestyles for environment movement was introduced for the conservation of forest and water the mami gange mission national mission for green india national afforestation program was introduced and for the sustainable agriculture national mission for sustainable agriculture national innovations in climate resilience agriculture was introduced and for protecting rights of indigenous community panchayats extension to scheduled areas act 1996 that is PISA Act and Forest Rights Act 2006 was introduced for the Infrastructure and Waste Management, Coalition for Disaster Resilient Infrastructure and Swachh Bharat Mission were introduced. The next topic is Draft Carbon Credit Trading Scheme. So, credit, uh, sorry, Carbon Credit Trading Scheme aims to reduce or remove greenhouse gas emissions. So the carbon credit rating draft scheme mainly consists of structure of proposed Indian carbon market for voluntary trading like private entities and compliance markets like public entities. The next topic is global greenhouse gas monitoring infrastructure ggmi so this ggmi is launched by the world meteorological organization and it provides better ways of measuring planet warming pollution so ggmi gives all the data regarding pollution by collaborating with all data providers it improves our understanding of carbon cycle and supports the initiatives of unfccc uh, including global stock harm, stock harm, uh, stock uh, global st stock take ipcc assessment reports enhanced transparency framework national inventories etc the next topic is um, right to repair so right to repair in india is extended to four sectors namely consumer durables mobile and electronics automobile equipment and farm equipment the next topic is electron electric vehicles policy so as there is a high oil imports um, as air pollution in india is increasing is deteriorating and to meet international commitments of net zero carbon emission by 2070, proper encouragement and infrastructure facilities should be set up for the efficient usage of the electric vehicles. And for this purpose, implementation and regulation of electric vehicles is necessary. So, Parliamentary Standing Committee on Estimates presented a report to frame a national policy on electric vehicles. The next topic is landslide atlas of india so isro has released the landslide atlas of india and as per the report 42.85 percent of northeastern himalayas 33.33 uh, percent of northwest himalayas 21.38 percent of western guards and konkan he konkan hills and 2.38 percent of eastern guards of araku region in andhra pradesh are prone to the landslides in india the next topic is 
carbon dioxide emissions in 2022 report so it's co2 emissions 2022 report is released by the international energy agency and as per the report global energy related uh, co2 emissions grew by 10 0.9% in 2022 and clean energy technologies helped to prevent additional 550 million tons of carbon dioxide emissions the next topic is biofuels uh, sorry um bio resources for commercial purposes so bio resources are plants animals microorganisms genetic material and their products which are used for their for the for making of drugs food flavors cosmetics fragrances etc so for using bio resources in uh, indian entity has to give an intimation to the state board while obtaining any Uh, bio resources for commercial utilization under the biodiversity act of 2002 the next topic is asiatic lions so gujarat government has proposed bar the wildlife sanctuary as the second home of asiatic lions after the gir national park and maldhari community lives near the wada region of gujarat asian asian liger, lions are only found in india in five protected asiatic um five protected uh, areas of gujarat they are gir national park gir sanctuary paniya sanctuary mitiala sanctuary and girnar sanctuary the next topic is greater panna landscape council gplc so greater uh, sorry ken betwa link project is an interlinking river project through panna tiger reserve it transfers water from ken to betwa river and the greater panna landscape council has proposed some objectives so they are to ensure a win win situation for conservation and development to enable better habitat to provide species specific and site specific monitoring strategies the next topic is heat index reading so hi reading so it gives estimation of water temperatures uh, which are exact so in uh, indian meteorological department will soon give hi readings next topic is striving for clean air air pollution and public health in south asia report so it is released by the world bank the next topic is liquid tree or liquid 3 So liquid 3 contains water and uses micro algae to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and improve air quality by binding carbon dioxide and producing pure oxygen through photosynthesis. So it is more efficient than trees and Serbia has introduced liquid 3 to combat air pollution. The next topic is desalination plants. so desalination is a process of obtaining fresh water from the from uh, either sea water or the brackish water from the estuaries so national institute of ocean technology will set up a green self powered desalination plants in lakshadweep next topic is south atlantic anomaly so or saa saa is the large region of low magnetic intensity in the atmosphere stretching from south america and south west africa 